Okay, um, question number two here. Estimate the area under the graph of f of x equals uh, 2x squared plus 3 from x equals negative 1 to x equals 3. Use four rectangles and write endpoints. Okay, so uh, this is rectangle rule. All right, so uh, b minus a over n, that's a common thing. That That is, in rectangle rule, this is the base of your rectangle, the bottom. All right, so if I sub in the numbers, uh, A is the first number in your interval, the small one, negative one in this case, boom. B is the larger number, which is three. All right, and then the N is the number of rectangles, so they told us four. All right, so if I do the math, uh, three minus negative one, <laughs> minus negative is plus. So yeah, four over four, which is one. All right, so you're going from negative uh, one to three, you have four rectangles. So the base of all your rectangles is one. All right. So when it's consistent, like non, it, it's the same. It's consistent. It's not varying. A lot of times Riemann sums have different bases. You, you do each uh, rectangle individually just based on type. Um, but in this case, if, if it's consistent, the same base, you could just tag it out front. All right, now, uh, in our first triangle, uh, the left side is the left, the right side is the right, and they said use right side. All right, so what you do, uh, f of x is the height of your rectangle, so you sub the right value. So this first one, zero. Sub zero into this puppy, uh, zero squared, zero times two, zero plus three, three. All right, go to my next rectangle. 1 is the x value. I sub it into my f of x. Sub 1 into this. Um, 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2 plus 3 is 5. So that's the height of my second rectangle. Go to my third rectangle. Sub 2 in because it's the right side value. Uh, 2 squared is 4 uh, times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11. And my last one, uh, I'm subbing x into this. Uh, we're subbing 3 in for x, sorry. Uh, 3 squared is 9, times 2 is 18, plus 3 is 21. All right, so it, it feels redundant writing this 1, but I just wrote it because rarely is it 1. This is very nice. Uh, lots of times it's like 1 fourth or a half. Um, so anyways, you do the work in parentheses and you multiply that. Because it's 1, I don't have to worry about it. Just, uh, the identity property. Anyways, uh, 3 plus 5 is 8. Uh, plus 11 is 19, plus 21 is 40, and that's your answer. Boom.